We have got to work fast and we have got to work hard. Let's go. I have got a strength wad workout set up for you that you are definitely going to be feeling for a while. You're gonna need one set of dumbbells. I want you to challenge yourself with these dumbbells. My athletes are gonna be working hard, their form is going to be impeccable, and I expect your form to be impeccable too. We're gonna to break down all of the three movements, okay? So, first movement is gonna be a dumbbell thruster. What I want you to do is grab your weights, you're gonna, everyone please, you're gonna rack those weights up on your shoulders, here. Your legs are in a squat position, so your feet are just a little wider than shoulders. You're looking forward. I really want you to think about your elbows staying nice and high. You can even rest those weights on the back of your shoulders here. So from here, you're gonna go down into a deep squat, drop them below parallel, chest is up. And then as you come up, you're going to drive those weights straight overhead. As they come down, the body sinks back down, thrust up, down, thrust. Keep going, just give me a couple more. What I'm looking for is the hip crease to drop below parallel. She generates the hip strength to drive those weights straight up and rest. From there, we're gonna do a dumbbell push press. You're gonna be keeping these weights in your hands for three minutes, okay? So from here, you're gonna give me a dip drive. From, you're gonna dip and then drive. Notice how Elliot keeps that chest up nice and tall. He's got a bend in the knees. Again, he's generating the hip strength to drive those weights straight up. Locks that up on the top. What I'm looking for right here is that extension in the knee, extension in the hips, arms are locked out, rest. And then dumbbell front squats. Let open the legs just a little wider than shoulders. You're gonna keep those weights high, elbows high as you sink down into that nice deep squat. Callie's got good flexibility and then she drives up. I, I want you to concentrate on your ab strength. When you come up, go ahead and go down one more time. When you come up, notice how she's got a nice neutral positioning right here. Hips are extended. Glutes, I want you to fire your glutes up. Rest the arms for a second. So think about your ab strength. Think about your glutes. When you come up, squeeze your butt as tight as you can. With these squats, I really want you to be able to um, feel it more in your glutes than the quads. We're all, we all get very quad dominate, dominant in these movements. So what I really want you to think about is pushing that body weight into your heels. So I'm gonna be uh, coaching you throughout this workout to make sure that you keep your body weight dug into your heels. So put the weights down. We are gonna be spending 45 seconds, 45 seconds doing these movements with a 15 second break, not a long break in between. This strength workout is also going to get a little bit of cardio in because after you put those weights down, after the third minute, I'm gonna have my athletes and you at home just do a straight jumping jack, okay? And you're gonna get a rest in between and we're gonna go through this again, all right? So, it's strength. I want you to pace yourself. I don't want you to go out too fast in the beginning because if you go too fast in the beginning, chances are you're gonna get gassed out. I don't want you to get into what we call like a red line. Don't go to that red line, but I want you to push yourself. I want you to feel very uncomfortable. And then when you start feeling that, where you go, you go oh God, I gotta put these weights down. That's where you're gonna challenge yourself to keep going. Remember, it's 45 seconds. So you guys ready? Yeah. Yes? All right, good. All right, with the weights beginning on the ground, we're gonna start with dumbbell thrusters. We're going to begin in three, two, one, let's go. Down and up, down and up. So from the beginning, you can notice Elliot is a very strong athlete right here and heels are already driving off the ground. In the beginning, I want you to see about keeping those heels dug into the ground, good, nice. Save those calves because we're gonna be moving a lot. And what I'm really gonna look for from you at home and from my athletes here is that you really limit that stop time. Knowing that in about 15 seconds, you're gonna get that little break. But I don't want you to put the weights down unless it's absolutely necessary. If you need to limit that range of motion, feel free if you don't have that range of motion, then eventually getting down below parallel and rest, keeping those arms down to the sides. You can rest them wherever you want them to be. We're gonna go into dumbbell push presses in about nine seconds. So, breathing. We're gonna go in three, two, 
One, rack them up, dumbbell push press begin. Beautiful. I want you to imagine as, as if you were standing against a wall and as you go down, you're gonna feel your back on that wall and those knees just bow out slightly. Good. 30 more seconds, feeling really good. Up. 20 more seconds. What I don't wanna see you guys do at home is just pushing those weights straight over your head. I want you to use the full body here. 10 more seconds, you guys. Dip and drive, dip, drive. That's it. Four more seconds. Three, two, and rest. Keeping those weights in hand. You have about 45 more seconds, and then you get to finally put those weights down on the ground. We're gonna go into those front squats. Rack the weights. Two, one, and squat down. Remember how I told you uh, in the beginning, keep the body weight into the heels. You don't want to be toesy. You don't want to feel like you're tipping forward. Really activate your glutes. You come up, squeeze your glutes tight. Core is tight. You come up and squeeze. Elbows high. Good. Down and lift. Down and lift. We have about 20 more seconds. I'm gonna get you to just increase that speed just a little bit more. I know that everyone is pacing themselves, which I like. I just want you to get a little bit faster. Good. Eight more seconds. Five more seconds. Three, two, and one. Putting the weights down. We're gonna go into a series of jumping jacks. What I really want you to concentrate on these jumping jacks is keeping those feet light and your core strong. Five. Four, three, two, one, and begin. All right, so here's the deal. We are gonna go directly into our dumbbell thrusters after this. I'm gonna keep you going with this movement for 45 more seconds. Good, core strong, shaking those arms out. You're gonna be ready for those thrusters. Keep going. Those of you at home, just stay with my athletes right here. That's it. Want those feet to be nice and light because all your strength is going to be in that core. You have 15 more seconds. Good. Get those arms up, Maddie. Yes. In eight seconds, you're gonna go right into your dumbbell thrusters. In three, two, one, pick them up and let's go. Rack them and squat, press. Here's where I'm looking for a little bit more speed from my athletes. Down, pop up. Watching all three of my athletes as they go down and they pop right back up. Don't rest in the hole. You don't want to get down there and just like reset or anything. You want to get down and then out. Down and out. Good. Up. Up. Lift. Good, Callie. Chest up. Strong arms. Strong core. Ten more seconds. Lift. Lift. Three. Two and one, rest. Arms down to the side, big deep breaths. We're gonna go into those dumbbell push press in about less than 10 seconds at this point. How are those arms feeling, Callie? Good. Good. Elliot, you feel strong? Let's go. Did you say yes? Yeah, it feels good. <laughs> up, up, good. So, we're in our round two. We're doing three rounds of this. Lift, lift. That 15 seconds is really, really important. Even if you feel like, you know what, I don't need it, I can go on to the next movement, I want you to get it. I want you to get that little bit of recovery so you can really attack the next movement. Eight more seconds, and then you're gonna have a 15 second break. Once, you, once your body starts getting more fatigued, you're gonna really have to rely on your technique. Rest, you're gonna have to rely on your technique because strength starts to maybe go down a little bit. You're gonna have to really think, all right, my body's gotta be moving efficiently with every single movement that I do. 
Three seconds. Two, we're gonna go into those dumbbell front squats. Begin, let's go. I'm looking for speed. Notice how Elliot's gonna sink and then pop straight up. Sink and pop. His core is strong, he comes up. He's really hitting that hip extension right up on the top. That's right, down and lift. Pick up speed, you guys, let's go. Nice. We started pacing ourselves from the beginning, but now we're coming upon the end of round two. One more round to go. You can take advantage of every single movement. You keep going. These guys have not stopped. Hopefully you've not stopped at home. If you did, that's okay. Come back. We got about three more seconds. Two, one, put the weights down and go right into those jumping jacks. Go. Beautiful. One solid minute here with these jumping jacks and then you're gonna go into that final round. Now, those of you at home that are beginner or more intermediate, you need to take this time with the jumping jacks to get a breath, get a drink of water, rest, that's fine. Take that recovery time. My athletes are gonna keep going. They're for those of you that are intermediate, advanced, wanna keep moving, wanna get that heart rate going. This workout's less than 20 minutes. So I'm gonna make sure that every single one of the 20 minutes you're gonna be feeling and we're taking advantage of it. Strength, but throwing a little metabolic conditioning in this too. Good. Up and down, up and down, good. Keep going, lift. Good. Stay with me. We're gonna go into that movement in three seconds. Two dumbbell thrusters, let's go. Pick him up, Maddie. Last round. Good. Last round. Got 30 more seconds. Here's what I love about my athletes in this room right now. They are very efficient with their movement. Their form is so good that it looks like they just started. Even though they're fatigued, I hear them breathing, their form looks exactly like their first one. I want your first one to look like your last one. Seven more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Last set of those dumbbell push press. Breathe. Four, three, two, and one, go. Dip drive. Dip drive. Up. Explosion. That's it. I encourage you, the more you do these workouts, to increase your weight. Increase the weights that are in your hands. Strength movement is all about loading the body with a little bit more weight than you can handle at times. 10 more seconds. Beautiful, up and down. Let's go. That's it, Callie. Dip drive, four, three, two, and rest. Holding those weights. 10 more seconds. Breathe. In three, two, rack the weight, and we go, front squats. I said it before, I'm gonna say it again, watch where your weight is. Make sure that those heels are dug in. Get out of the toes, feel those glutes firing up. Your glutes, your legs, largest muscle group. Attacking that works Overall body here. Good. Elbows a little bit more forward. Thank you, Maddie. We have 10 more seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Drop those weights. Last set of jumping jacks. Let's go. We're gonna go out strong, you guys. We're gonna go out strong. I'm gonna keep you in these jumping jacks not for very long right now because we're gonna do one more little thing. One more little thing. Beautiful.
When I say go, you're going to, as quickly as you can, give me three burpees. Three burpees as fast as you can in 20 seconds. Those of you at home, we are going to be hitting burpees as quickly as you can for three in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hit the ground, three, fast, good. And as quickly as you can, grab your dumbbells, dumbbell thrusters, here we go. I want you to stay right on dumbbell thrusters, go. Down and up, working together, down and up, lift. And now what I'm looking for is speed. You're gonna give me one last set of dumbbell thrusters, up and down, beautiful. We have one minute left, one minute left, up and down, drive. Here's what I'm looking for. My athletes are getting challenged, pick them back up, Maddie. My athletes are getting challenged right now. It's that point where I was saying, you're getting close to that red line. You want to get a little bit uncomfortable. I'm looking for you to get uncomfortable. Down, up, good. Big explosion, down and right back down. Beautiful. Down, up. Maddie, stay with me. We have less than 20 seconds left right here. Down, Elliot, down. Big thrust, down and up, down and up. Stay with me, good. This is that place that we go to, Maddie. This is the place that you have to fight. Your body is saying, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. Do not stop. Three, two, front squats only. Let those arms rest, front squats. Pick them back up, front squats, front squats. Down and up, go. Down, up, down, up. Almost, almost. Strength. Down, up, down, right back down, and right back down. Maddie, yes. This is what I want you to see. I want you to see my athletes. They are having to work so hard. You get to the point where it's like, you gotta have that break. I'm just trying to push you just a little bit farther. 10 more seconds, you guys. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, hold it in the hole. Down, down, hold it, yes. hold it. Yes. Stay there. Listen to me, because we're gonna be done with this in about 15 seconds. I want you to come up about two inches only. Ah, feel that? Two inches, Elliot. Two more inches, Maddie. Up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. <laughs> that was great. Good work. I would think that you would have felt that one. Yep. Oh. Nice work. I would think at home you would have felt that too. Or you could have just stopped and watched them and laughed. That's not nice. <laughs>